Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Fractal Maze. You've already seen several versions of uh, Fractal Maze on my uh, video channel before, but uh, this is a version that was 3D printed and this uh, is a, uh, uh, well, you see the little ball, it's a dexterity maze and it was 3D printed on my uh, Dutchy 3D printer, which you see here. And actually, uh, while we're talking, it is uh, working on uh, a whole batch of uh, fractal mazes uh, just to see, uh, well, how well that goes. So what is uh, special about this design is that it's a single wall design. So when you uh, use the vase mode, then you uh, print with a single wall of 0.4 mm thickness, which is thinner than what is allowed with, uh, for instance, nylon SLS. But uh, because of the shape, it's still very rugged. And interestingly, um, when you look at the topology of the maze, it's actually a flat sheet. So if you could unfold this, um, you uh, would just have a uh, topologically a flat sheet, uh, very simple 2D structure. But of course, like a bit of origami, it has been folded and that was not to make sure that the ball doesn't get out. So the ball doesn't get out, as you can see. Well, you see this, uh, the maze at the back side. But uh, then the question is, how did the ball get into the maze? Well, at this point, you see uh, that there is a little hole. So when you move the maze from where it's now to the hole, then you can get the ball out, which is uh, the challenge of this uh, puzzle. And of course you need to follow the whole fractal, and that is, uh, well, probably hard to see. But then you go here and then have the ball move down here in the, the maze, etc, etc. So in order to test uh, the printer, I tried different colors and different materials. So there are all kinds of PLA plastics available. So we have black, gray, white. Uh, this is a nice one. It's uh, transparent, uh, as you can see. Um, we have pink, red, orange, yellow. Another transparent one, but uh, this one uh, is uh, transparent uh, yellow. Light blue dark blue, brown, um, one type of green, yet another type of uh, green, but there are also some very special materials. So this is actually 3D printed wood. Maybe you don't recognize it as such and it feels a bit like uh, cardboard, but these are very tiny wood grains, sawdust, that was mixed with the PLA plastic. So it uh, looks a bit like wood, of course without the grain. When you smell it, it smells a bit like burnt wood because it has been burnt by the 3D printer. And of this wood type, there is uh, the light version, but there is also a dark wood version. This again smells like burnt wood, but it's uh, very dark. And another special material is this 3D printed copper, which is actually PLA with copper powder. And uh, the material is about uh, nine times more expensive than the plastic. Actually the wood is about three times more expensive. But here it's also more he heavier. So the plastic ones, they weigh uh, 12 gram. And the copper one weighs 36 grams. So this one feels uh, substantially more heavy. But uh, functionally it's the same. There's a ball and it moves all the way through the maze. So the reason that I showed you all of these uh, colors is that because I have a question to you. Which of these materials and colors do you like the most for this puzzle? Thank you for watching.